So I guess I'm uh, a Californian now. Uh, so uh, if any of you guys live in LA, hit me up. I need friends. easy though it's been a very frantic search something that I've learned since getting to LA is how fast their market moves especially for rentals and apartments specifically my roommate and I would look the more like look in the mornings every single day send each other apartments and these places would be snatched up by the time it came to the afternoons like applications would already be in so it's definitely been a very arduous process um, trying to find an apartment that not only is one that we can actually, you know, have the ability to get the first application into and actually have interest from the landlords, but also an apartment that kind of meets all of the requirements that we set for ourselves, you know, two bedroom, two bath, ideally close to the beach, um, which I think you'll be pretty happy with what we ended up getting. And uh, I'm very excited to move in today. So the plan for the day, step one, I actually have to move in. Um, two, I'd like to get everything out of the current place that I'm staying. I've been crashing with a friend um, during my apartment search. And three, I'd really like to document the process. And it's going to be an exciting day. Um, should be hearing from my roommate soon. He's driving out from his home. Um, we're going to meet and start <sighs> moving everything in. Um, I'm excited, but also kind of, I don't know. I'm nervous. I'm nervous to see how it all turns out nervous to see what the place looks like and because I've never actually visited it. I've only seen pictures and videos because my roommate did all the touring. Um, so we'll see and you guys will see along with me. So with that, I need to pack up some stuff, load up my car and uh, let's go. Okay, we are all packed up. Everything that I've been <laughs> using to live out of for the past two and a half weeks is finally ready to go. Moving was an absolute fiasco. Uh, there were tow trucks involved, lots of sweat. It took hours. I probably couldn't have even filmed if I tried, um, but the good thing is, is we are mostly moved in at this point. Um, still have a lot of stuff to buy to furnish this beautiful apartment, but um, as you can see, I'm sitting in my new common room right now, and it is just absolutely empty. We have a couch, we have a coffee table, and luckily we have Wi-Fi set up. Um, but other than that, it is completely empty, so we're gonna have to do, put some serious work into uh, furnishing this place soon. I'll, I'll have to do a full apartment tour soon, but we got the main room with the kitchen right there. We got our couch, and then I have a full bedroom to myself. Uh, excuse the mess, but it is uh, somewhat set up for the moment. Bed, bookshelf, desk. Um, prop this thing back on the tripod. So the move was a the move was a mess, but uh, obviously it was successful in the end. I am excited because I'm about to go cook my very first meal in the new apartment. It's almost lunchtime, so I'm gonna whip up some uh, eggs and bacon. And then I wanna talk a little bit about what moving is actually like in the military. <laughs> received my commission into the military uh, from Air Force ROTC at Yale. Um, so I did that program for four years, commissioned, and now I'm a second lieutenant in the military. 
obviously anything that I say here does not reflect the official views of the military. Um, this is just my own personal opinion and my own personal experiences. So with me receiving my commission, I'm obviously required to head off to my first assignment, which happened to be LA. Um, so that's where I'm currently stationed. So since my first assignment was out here in LA, the, uh, the military was required to uh, help fund my uh, PCS, my permanent change of station from Virginia all the way out here to LA, um, which, you know, they help pay for the travel, but they also help pay to move my stuff. So there are two options. I could either, you know, move my own stuff and get paid per pound um, to, you know, rent a U-Haul and drive across the country. Um, but I personally did not have enough stuff for that to even be remotely worth it. I only had a couple hundred pounds of stuff that I wanted moved because uh, I tried or I decided to buy everything out here. Um, so they showed up to my house, picked up all my stuff, gave me an inventory sheet, uh, moved out to LA, gave them a call, and they helped move me in yesterday. Um, all the stuff that, you know, was just sitting in storage for a couple of weeks while I was moving out here. So it was a pretty easy process, to be completely honest. Um, so that may have been super boring, me explaining that, but I know when I did my college vlogs, you guys always liked when I gave a little bit of, you know, perspective into my time in ROTC and kind of the military. Um, so if you guys want me to add some more, you know, notes on my experience in the military and how that kind of affects, it's not gonna be the main focus of this channel, um, going forward by any means, but um, that is the reason I'm out here in LA and I'm super excited to be here and start my career. Um, so with that, I'm going to finish up breakfast and then I want to show you my favorite part about this apartment. A lot of cool things about this apartment. Hopefully some of them I will share in future videos, but there's one key factor that we really took into account when choosing the spot and um, it's that we wanted to see the water. Yeah, so we are very lucky to not only have found an apartment that we like, but also one that has such a great location. So I guess I'm uh, a Californian now. Uh, so uh, if any of you guys live in LA, hit me up. I need friends, um, fellow YouTubers in LA. Let's collab, let's do something. Um, excited to meet some people, explore this new city. And with that, I hope you enjoyed coming along with me as I moved across the country to a place that I now call home. See you guys next time.